Hi Church, welcome to today's devotion. My name is Nadine and I attend the Audacious Manchester Central Campus and contribute to the Alpha Ministry. In this season, as we focus on Jesus, I'd like to share some thoughts on the topic, Jesus is my defender. Now, the word defender might conjure up all sorts of battles. Those in your childhood, at home, school, university, and battles in your relationships, your health, or your minds. But regardless of the battle that you may be facing today, I'd like to encourage you by reminding you that through each and every one of the battles we face, Jesus is our defender. As far back as I can remember, I've experienced battles in every one of the areas I've just mentioned. And like many of you, I'm sure, I've been at my lowest ebb, experiencing pain, anxiety and sorrow. But one thing I can say with confidence is that Jesus has defended me through every battle I have faced and he has promised to defend you too. In God's word, we are told that we will experience wars, rumours of wars and battles of every kind. And so it's comforting to know that God has promised to protect us. In at least two places in the Bible, we are reminded that battles we face belong to God. In 2 Chronicles 20, the message King Jehoshaphat received as he was about to fight in a real war against a huge army was, do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but the Lord's. And again in Samuel, when on the cusp of winning his battle against Goliath and the Philistine army, David said, it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give all of you into our hands. In the same way today, Jesus remains our defender. He is Lord of our battles and we should relinquish ownership of every one of them and allow him to defend us by recognising that he is all power and that all power belongs to him. He has control over absolutely everything in our lives. The large things in life that often seem beyond our control and even the tiniest things which are often the most worrisome yet those which sometimes we convince ourselves Jesus wouldn't be interested in. Whatever the war we face we must allow God to be our advocate and permit him to completely take control. A bit like in a courtroom most of us would never dream of defending ourselves in a real court, but yet we often plough into the court of life without our barrister, Jesus. In my battles, I have learnt that we have to take a step back and leave space for God to defend us, to simply trust that each and every one of his promises are true. And that in all of these things, we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus who loves us. We must be still and know that he is God. We must trust our God. Finally, the book of Daniel 6 tells of another great story of God coming to the rescue the story of Daniel in the lion's den. And crucially, it says in verse 23, 
The king was overjoyed and gave orders to lift Daniel out of the den. And when Daniel was lifted from the den, no wound was found on him because he had trusted in his God. So, in parting, remember, trust in your God and allow him to be your defender today.